Namaste everyone. Welcome to all in this morning session where we are practicing exercise 2 and trying to observe interaction between me and the body. So let me brief all these steps then we may start with sharing. So basically in step in exercise 2 we are observing interaction between me and the body. So in step 1 we are trying to observe the two reality. One is me, myself and second is body. So by observation, by direct observation, I am trying to see both the realities. So when I observe myself, I can see activities going on in me. And based on those activities, I can say that I exist. I am an existential reality. Similarly, when I see activities of body, when I observe activities of body, some physiochemical activities are going on in the body. Sensations are going in the body. On the basis of this observation, I can say body is also a reality. It exists. So based on this observation, we can say the self and body are two distinct realities. When I am able to see these two realities, then in step 2, I am observing interaction between the two. So by observation, I can see that the interaction between me and body is taking place in the form of information. So I read sensation if I think it is important to read. I give instruction to body if I think now it is important to give instruction. So in that sense, the interaction between the two is in the form of information. So when I am instructing body, it is an information. When I am reading sensation, it is also an information. So information exchange of information is taking place between me and body. With this, in step 3, I am trying to observe who is decision maker. Some activities are going on in the self, some activities going on in body, but who is deciding? So with observation, I can say that I am the one who decides to give instruction to the body. I am the one who decides to read sensation from the body. So information is being exchanged between me and body with my decisions and I decide when to read, when not to read. When to instruct, when not to instruct to the body. So decisions are entirely mine. So in that sense, I am seer, doer and enjoyer. I am seer means I can see, I can observe myself, I can observe my body. Deci decision means, doer means, I decide when to instruct my body. I decide when to read sensation from happening in the body. So in that sense, I am doer. And I am enjoyer means once I decide what to do with this information, I experience happiness and unhappiness of my decisions. So in that sense, I am seer, doer and enjoyer. Body is just an instrument. So what I say body just follows it. So once I am aware that I am seer, doer and enjoyer, then in step 4, I am trying to observe 
the separation between the two units, between me and body. So when I, I decide to read a particular sensation, and while reading that sensation, I am asking, am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I separate from the sensation? So whenever, whenever I ask these questions, I get answer, I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. And there is separation between the two. So in that sense, I can see that I am separate from body. I am at a distance from the body. I am not bound with the body. If I am aware of this, then in step 5, I am trying to see interaction between me and the body outside and the world outside. So in this step 5, we discuss the possible sources of sensations that are taking place in my body. So many sensations are taking place in body, but what are the sources that we are trying to observe in step number 5? So we discussed four possible sources. So first is behavior of other human being. So when other person interact with me, it creates some sensation in my body. This is one possible source. Second is some physiochemical change is taking place outside and it is impacting my body. It has some effect on my body. Due to that, there are sensations. Third is, there are events happening within the body. So some activities are going on in body. Due to that, there is a sensation. And fourth is, something is going on in my imagination. Due to that, there are sensations in body. So these sources are having effect on the body in the form of sensation. But I am not bound to read all those sensations. When I decide to read this sensation, I read this sensation. So in step 5, we are try, trying to find out the possible sources of sensation. And with this, we discuss these 9 sub-steps. When I decide to read sensation, then I associate meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my sanskar. This sanskar may be based on assumption or may be based on knowing. I may get influenced or not influenced. And I feel happy or unhappy within me because of those sanskar. And based on those sanskar, I decide to react or respond. So if I decide to express outside my reaction or response, then I express outside with the help of body. And body just follows my instruction and I am expressed outside with the help of body. So this is what we are trying to see in step 5. Now in step 6a, 6b, we are trying to see this reaction and response. So why I react? Why do I react? Why do I respond? How it is being decided that I have to react? I have to respond? This we are discussing in step 6a and 6b. So in step 6a, we are discussing reaction. And in step 6b, we are discussing response. So 6a, 6b is an extension of this step 5. So in step 6a, we are trying to observe our reaction. Why I am reacting inside. This I am trying to find within me. So step 6a is helping me to find out the reason of my reaction. So in step 6a, we are saying that if my sanskar is based on assumption without knowing, 
then it may create reaction in me. So if I am not able to ensure a state of continuous happiness within me, then what I will do? Then I will keep seeking happiness from outside. Sometimes from sensation, sometimes from feelings from others. Right? Because our basic aspiration is continuity of happiness. And if I am not able to ensure a state of continuous happiness with right understanding, with understanding of relationship, harmony and coexistence, then what will I do? I want to be happy, but I am not able to ensure happiness with right understanding. Then I will keep seeking happiness from outside and this outside me sometimes sensation and sometimes from feeling from others. So my decisions are influenced by sensation and it may be influenced by feelings from others. So this is we are discussing in step 6a. Right. So let me brief step 6a and 6b. So if I am not able to ensure a state of continuous happiness within me, then I focus on the sensation or feeling from others. So when I read sensation and if I found this sensation good for me or tasty for me, then I like to continue with that taste. So suppose I decide to eat something, some sweet and it is tasty. So I like to continue with that taste because I want to be happy and I am not able to ensure happiness within me with understanding of reality. So I try to get this happiness from sensation. So once I eat some sweet then it creates craving. Then I again start repeating it. And I decide to continue of this sensation, this taste. So I keep changing outside objects again and again to make me happy. So this is a reaction. This is an excitement reaction. Similarly, when I am interacting with the other, and he is ensuring feelings which I am expecting, like feeling of trust, feeling of respect. So I like to be with that person in expectation of feeling of trust, respect from him. So this is again a reaction. I want continuity of with that person. Similarly, at the level of taste, if I decide to for some taste, some sweet, and I am not happy with that, so I like to discontinue with that taste. And it creates reaction in me. Similarly, I am living with a person who is not able to ensure happiness or feelings in continuity for me. Like person is not able to ensure trust, person is not able to ensure respect for me, then I feel unhappy. I react within myself. I don't want to live with that person more. This is again a reaction. So why I am reacting? Because my sanskar are based on assumptions. So I am not capable to ensure continuity of happiness within me. So if I am not able to ensure continuity of happiness within me, then I start reacting. Then I search for conducive environment, conducive sensations, conducive peoples. You know? I like to be with those people who appreciate me, who ensure feelings of trust, respect for me. I like to continue those sensations 
which seems tasty for me. So this is a reaction. So I try to avoid those person who are not able to ensure feeling of trust, respect for me. I like, I like to discontinue those people. So this is reaction which is happening within me. I may express it outside. I may not express it outside. This is our choice. But it is happening within me. So it is happening within me because I am not able to ensure continuity of happiness in me. So I am expecting this happiness from outside. And if I am expecting from outside, its continuity cannot be ensured. So I am in a reaction. So in 6a, we are trying to observe this reaction happening within me. And I am observing that this reaction is because of my sanskar based on assumptions. So I am now dependent on other. I am dependent on my sensations. I am dependent on other person for my happiness. So this is step 6a where I am observing my reaction and I can observe that I am now dependent on others. I am now dependent on objects. I am dependent on outside environment for my happiness. And this is enslavement. Right? In step 6b, I am trying to see my sanskar. If my sanskar is based on knowing, right understanding, then I am able to continue to be in a state of harmony within me. If my sanskar are based on reality, understanding, understanding of relationship, harmony, coexistence, then I am happy within my, within me, in continuity. Now my happiness is based on my understanding of reality. If it is the case, then I am not interacting outside to get happiness for me. I am interacting outside with happiness for mutual fulfillment with my decision. So if I if I am happy within me with the understanding of reality, then now I am not dependent on other. Neither I am dependent on sensations for my happiness, not I am dependent on feelings from the others. Because I am happy within me with knowing, with right understanding. So I am in a state of happiness, continuity of happiness, because now my sanskars are based on right understanding. So with this state of happiness, how will I interact outside world? This we are trying to observe in step 6b. So in step 6a, we are trying to observe how do I interact outside when my sanskars are based on assumption. In step 6b, we are trying to observe how do I interact world outside when my sanskars are based on understanding. So if my sanskars are based on understanding, now I am happy within me. I am not dependent outside. Now I decide to interact outside for mutual fulfillment, for participation in larger order. <clears throat> With this state of continuous happiness, when I read sensation of the body, I use this information to write, evaluate 
to rightly evaluate the body. So I am happy within me in continuity with my understanding. Now I decide to read sensation happening in the body. And with this information, I am rightly evaluating body outside environment, outside world. With this sensation, now I am trying to evaluate the other person. Right? So I am not dependent on sensation now because I am happy within me. So with happiness, I am reading sensation. So once I read sensation, I will try to find out the source. Once I am able to find out the source, then I will decide how to respond. Now I will respond because I am happy within me. Earlier in step 6a, I used to react because I am not happy within me. So in this step, step number 6b, because I am happy, my sanskars are based on right understanding. With this happiness, I am reading sensation. And the information which I am getting from this body, which I am reading from the body, now I am deciding what to do with this sensation. So for example, if other person is expressing his feeling or her feeling and I am reading this sensation that happens in my body because I am in a state of happiness now I read that sensation and with that sensation I try to evaluate the other person's sanskar I, now I am not getting affected from that person's behavior. Now I am using this sensation to evaluate his sanskar. So once I read this sensation, I listen word. And based on those words, I am trying to evaluate others' person's competence, others' person's sanskar. Then I will decide what to do, how to help him what are possible ways to make him compatible. So this is a response. Right. Similarly, some physiochemical change in the environment and I am reading sensation of the body with the state of continuous happiness. Then I will use this sensation to evaluate the environment. So suppose for example, it is cold outside. It is impacting my body. I am reading this sensation with a state of continuous happiness. Now this sensation, from this sensation, I am getting information that outside environment is cool. And it may damage my body. So how will I respond? I will decide how much cloth I have to wear. What kind of cloth is required to protect my body. This I will decide. So this is a response. I am not reacting. I am responding. I am thinking to protect my body. And I, I am using sensation. How much clothes I have to wear. I will evaluate the state of my body. So I am reading sensation with a state of continuous happiness within me. And if I see that there is a headache, for example, then I will decide what to do. If then I can see I have to facilitate the body because body is already a self-organized unit. So if I am in a state of continuous happiness, then I respond to that sensation. I will facilitate the body so that it may heal itself. So this is a response. So in step 6b, we are reading sensation. 
and I am reading sensation with the state of continuous happiness in me. So I am now responding outside, not reacting outside. So this is in step 6a and 6b, difference between step 6a and 6b. In 6a, I am not able to ensure happiness, continuity of happiness in me because my sanskars are based on assumption. So I react. Whenever I read sensation, I react. In step 6b, we are saying, if my sanskar are based on knowing, right understanding, now I am in a state of harmony, happiness, in continuity. With this state of happiness, I decide to read sensation happening in the body. And now I decide how to respond it. So I am not dependent for my happiness. Now I am happy and responding outside for mutual fulfillment. So when I interact with body, I respond how to fulfill that body, what to do for mutual fulfillment. When I interact with other person, I decide how to interact for with mutual fulfillment. So this we are practicing in step 6b. Right. So let's uh, take some observation. So this is the homework that we are practicing since yesterday. In fact, for many days. So we have to be aware our reaction or response within and its expression outside in various circumstances and interactions throughout the day. So we have to notice our feeling, our sanskar, our facial expression when interacting with others, when interacting with outside environment, when we interact with son, daughter, family members, returning home, walking in the street in fresh, clean clothes, whatever is happening around me, whatever is happening me in me, we have to observe. We have to observe our reaction happening inside and response also inside. So with this awareness, next time we will decide how to respond, why I am re reacting in this situation. So we'll, we will be aware all of these things if we are observing minutely. So we have to observe each and each interaction and we have to observe am I reacting or responding then we have to observe our sanskar so we will we will be able to see that due to sanskar I react or respond so if my sanskar are based on assumption I may react within reaction outside is my choice if my sanskar are based on right understanding I respond inside. I decide to respond inside. I may express it outside, may not express it outside. But reaction or response happening in me is because of my sanskar. So this we are trying in step 6a and 6b. So I hope I am able to communicate this is step 6a and 6b. So now we can share if you have any observation regarding this. Observing my sensation, mm -hmm. uh, it is from the, it is a source from outside. Uh, we are still, we decided, we observed that because of that, there is a constant water lugging and there are three to four plots which are submerged in the, with the storage water. So uh, I uh, 
saw it and it, it is a sensation from outside, some changes outside. And I tried to see it that yes, uh, there was instantly some reaction in me. But in the next moment, I thought that perhaps to react only, it will not solve the problem. So I therefore thought of changing my reaction to response means I contacted many people, those who are a party to this or those are affected in this in this happening. So uh, we decided to go to the authorities, municipality or something or what go like that so that we can find a solution. So this was a brief observation of me yesterday. So thank you, thank you all. So important is, you know, I could observe the state of reaction in me. So this is important yeah. observation. Yeah. Now I should be aware why I reacted. Right. And that is what we are discussing in step 6a. So yeah. when I read sensation and I find that it is not according to me or it not good according to me. So I react immediately. So when I react, I feel unhappiness of this reaction within me. So I reacted because something is not conducive outside. Right. But yeah. I had a choice to respond. So if I am able to ensure continuity of happiness with right understanding, then I will respond for this outside environment. So yeah. immediately we used to react because generally I try to get happiness from outside. So something is not good outside and, and I am reacting. It means I am dependent. My happiness is dependent outside environment. Yeah. Yes. And if my sanskar are based on right understanding, then I read this sensation, I evaluate this sensation. With the help of this sensation, I will decide how to respond outside, what to do outside. So in this yeah. manner, I will not be victim. But I will interact in the sense of mutual fulfillment. So with awareness, I will not be victim of these situations. So ultimately, I will interact outside, try to find out the solution. This will happen. Yeah. But I have to be aware of my state. So I reacted. This observation is right. But now we have to explore why did I react? For yeah. that, I have to be aware. It means some sanskar is based on assumptions. And my assumption is outside should happen according to me. And if it not happening, then I feel reaction within me. Right. So right. this is what we are observing in step 6 and 6b. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Very so good. in that case, a uh, little doubt means... Mm -hmm. uh, um, but it, the reaction is bound to, to be there and in the first phase it happened but in the next phase I tried to reconcile myself and thought that perhaps if I be unhappy then that will I will also suffer so therefore I, it is not wise to be here. Uh, opposite to the situation or feeling of opposition. So I thought that no, 
what to do about the solution. So I started doing it and it was not a reaction I have found, it was a response. Thank you. So we have to find out solution in two places. First within me at the level of my sanskar. Mm -hmm. What to do so that I will not be in reaction uh, next time. Yeah. How can I be in a responding state each time, every moment? Mm -hmm. This solution we have to find within me. And how can it possible? I have to evaluate my sanskar. Evaluation based on harmony, coexistence and relation. So if I am aware and I evaluate my sanskar, so first solution is I will respond in each situation. Right. Second solution is what I can do outside for yeah. social welfare, for the welfare of people. And this is second step. But yeah. first step, yeah. step is for me. Yeah, yeah. Right. That we have to work. I am directly affected because the bad odor and yeah. Yes, yes. So that that uh, foul that foul smell indicates that something is outside which is not suitable for my body. So this foul smell is an indicator. Yeah. That something is outside not uh, suitable for my body. So what will I do? I will use this information if I am happy inside me. I will use this information and try to respond outside to write the things. And I yeah. will do something outside. But I am happy inside. Mm. But if yeah. I am not happy inside, then with this foul smell, I will be in a reactive state. Mm -hmm. So I am not yes. using information in a proper manner. I am in a reactive state because somehow I have associated my happiness from outside environment. And if it is not according to me, I feel unhappy. This is a reaction. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes, Paya. Thank you. Thank so you. This is what we are uh, discussing in step 6 and 6B. Yeah, yeah. So we will practice it. So nice sharing, Paya, yes. that you are observing yourself in such events also. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank, thank, thanks, everybody. So, yeah, uh, from this week, I can say a very nice discussion and it is very important the steps which we are observing in exercise 2, particularly this 4, 5, 6a and 6b. As discussed yesterday, so always while observing, going through these uh, exercises, order with the foul order, smell, then clothes or the splashing of the car and all. Uh, it is uh, there, yeah, miss, I, miss, again I will say that, in, in protecting the self or it is the samskar, or you can say the clinging on that particular situation, it uh, always um, improving. And now it is best upon the understanding. Because what happens at uh, outside, whatever is happening, it may not be according to the self. Or miss, it will not be all the time making happy. But it is the self who has to take the decision who has to assume the things and if that assuming is based upon knowing, then the result is very nice. My conduct is definite. And what is my basic aspiration? It is the happiness to be happy and prosperous continuously. So the state will be continued. So what would now Devi Prasanna is discussing or other friends also, co-explorers. So sometimes it seems that we are getting unhappy, but it is me to decide the state. And one thing from the 6B, what I am understanding 
if i can be happy at this moment why i cannot be for other i can be with the right understanding so we are uh, very nice discussion and you are you are giving uh, so many you can see detailed thoughts discussing uh, so thank you very much so i hope this is somewhat more transformation i am transforming uh, it was earlier slowly but now it seems to be the things are becoming uh, very nice uh, uh, taking you can say fast transformation ji bhaiya or i can say uh, moving toward the shuddha drashta or the pure observer ji please thank you bhaiya. comment you may comment thank you right bhaiya so ultimately if i am in a state of pure observer then i will be unaffected from the sensation mm. happening in my body from the environment outside with that state i will respond with that state i will evaluate my sanskar and with that sanskar i will respond to sensation i will respond outside environment because i am happy now but yeah. otherwise if i am not happy means my sanskar are not based on reality or in other words i am not in a state of pure observer i am at a place of my sanskar so i get affected of those sanskar yeah. and once i affected with those sanskar i try to get happiness from outside mm -hmm. and if outside environment is conducive according to me i feel happy if it is not conducive i don't feel happy <laughs> yeah i feel unhappy yeah it is yes reaction always ji yes but if i am in state of pure observer i can see my sanskar without getting affected from it and i can evaluate my sanskar this can happen within me number 1 yeah. number 2 with this right sanskar now i interact outside in the sense of mutual fulfillment mutual fulfillment exactly exactly right. yeah yeah ji yeah. so if i i am reading sensation from the body for example mm -hmm. i take some sweet mm -hmm. right so if my sanskars are right mm -hmm. so i take this sweet to nurture my body not to get happiness from this sen sensation mm -hmm. so once my nurturing is fulfilled i will i will take decision mm -hmm. that i will not take next one it See. is done but if i am affected with my sanskar i mean i am affected with this sensation then i keep taking it till it becomes mm -hmm. intolerable for me or till it damage the body mm -hmm. so with this understanding i decide at appropriate time what to do now so in that sense you know uh, what you are sharing is right so if i am moving towards that the state of pure observer so ah, it is an indication yeah. it is an indication it seems yeah yeah uh, last minute i will take uh, because suppose i am uh, i am having the uh, increased the level of the sugar though i like it though i know that sweet is means giving very nice sensation i will become i, I have tested earlier so i feel very happy but still i will not touch it or at least i will control it i will take a small pinch of it earlier if i would have taken one or two pieces of that laddu or something now i will only taste and that is in the view of the nurturing my body that's it and that is the right understanding developed in the sense ji bhaiya ji you so slowly you know i will control this and finally i will decide whether to take it or not yes yes right ji so it is nice here very nice that we are observing thanks a lot due to you all the people daily we are improving definitely thanks a lot namaste sabhi ko ji namaste bhaiya ji bhaiya uh, my observation related sources of sensation uh, 
I feel bhaiya can be broadly put it in uh, three categories, uh, sources of information. Uh, my perception is like this bhaiya, you may conclude it. That's mm -hmm. one is the sources of sensation from uh, five sense organs of the body. Mm -hmm. Another source of sensation that is the things which are happening within the body. Mm. And the third source of sensation, I hope we can put it, the sensations arising out of uh, the imagination or thoughts which are happening within. Can we broadly make it like this, Vaya? See, you can categorize it either in three, three uh, broad category or four or five or six. But important is I am, am I dependent on this sensation or I am taking right decision by using this sensation. This is important point. So you may categorize it in two category. You may categorize in four. You may categorize in 10 category. It is not important. Important is, am I aware of each uh, sensation? And once I am aware, am I taking right decision and based on right uh, understanding? So this is important. If you want to put all these in three categories, you may put it. But ultimately, we have to evaluate it rightly. This we have to do. Right, Bia? Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. That uh, what is required is uh, what is the response or reaction we are giving out of these sensations. That is important for me. Similarly, in exercise one, there are seven steps. You, know? you can create eight steps for you. You can create three steps for you. But important is, am I aware of myself? What is happening in me? Am I aware of my potential? Am I aware of that state of your observer? This is important. So steps, you can eliminate, you can expand according to you. Similarly, category, you can eliminate, you can expand according to you. But important is to be aware of my state of reaction or response. Important is to decide I have to be in response all the time. So this is important. You can divide in different category as per your convenience. That is not a problem. Right, Bia? Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, Bia. Clear, Bia. Very. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bia. Please. Uh, Chief, uh, for me, yesterday throughout the day, I could observe that mm -hmm. uh, my uh, feeling towards my own body, uh, uh, the sensation of it uh, was very different when I was behaving with uh, people whom I do not know, outside people. But when I came in uh, contact with people whom I really know, uh, the kind of presence I felt for my own self were, was very different. Then I was asking me about how this difference is. Then I could see that while I am uh, be there with people whom I do not know much, uh, the way I was projecting myself is very different. And the people whom I know, the way I project myself is different. And at the same time, uh, that uh, picture of my own body in me is also very different at both times. Awareness when I am out is a little more than uh, what it is when I come back home or with known people. When I checked it mm -hmm. again and again, I could see that uh, this uh, sanskar I have of I am special uh, when I am with people uh, whom I do not know much, uh, like in the college and workplace. So uh, now my question is, Bhaiya, how... Uh, can I evaluate this sanskar? What what is the process of it? Yes. So process we are already discussing today in exercise one with the help of exercise two. So important is we have 
assumptions different assumptions for different people different assumptions for different situations so we are filled with many assumptions in the lack of a right understanding that's why we become different for different people so when i interact with my family members i become different and you will see this difference and variation of this difference in different people for example some people when interact with their family member they feel happy they respond but some people when interact with their family members they feel reaction inside similarly when some people meet outside uh, persons interact with outside people they may feel reaction but you will see some people when interact with other people they may feel response or they may feel happy inside so lot of variation is there and this variation is because of lot of assumptions in me i have made many assumptions according to people according to community according to sensation according to outside environment so for example i have one assumption that when i will go outside for few days where there is a mountain river i will be relaxed so this is one assumption so whenever i go outside i feel relaxed whenever i come back to home again i find the original state so assumptions are working and this assumptions influenced me and with varying situation with varying people with varying circumstances and this is making reaction in me so sometimes i want to continue with a particular situation i want to continue with particular person i want to continue with particular sensation sometimes i don't so this is reaction in me and that's why we are discussing this is step 6a and 6b so why it is happening because i am not i am not aware of my this is state of pure observer what prashant bhaiya was telling so if i am not aware of my state of pure observer or in other words if i am not aware of this reality of harmony coexistence and relationship so i have assumed in my sanskar and you know, something for some situations and when these circumstances comes these assumptions start working and with that assumptions i feel reaction in me either in positive direction or in negative direction but if i am aware of this reality reality of human being you know as a coexistence of self and body if i am aware of relationship with each unit then i will start with feeling of relationship i will start with coexistence i will start with harmony and once i will start with harmony relationship then i will rightly evaluate the out world outside and the person also sensation also what is happening we do not rightly evaluate we get influenced of these people these sensation these circumstances so what is the process what we have to do first we have to be aware that i have innate potential i have to understand reality i have to work for relationship i have to be in state of pure observer for that i have to be aware each moment every moment what is happening in me who is taking decision is it naturally acceptable to me what is the basis of decision that we discussed in step 1 so if we are aware each time it means with awareness we can evaluate our sanskar and once i evaluate my sanskar so it will be based on reality and once they are based on reality now i will not react because now i am not trying to get happiness from others now i am interacting outside environment 
while ensuring my happiness with right understanding. So once I am happy within me, then I will interact outside with my decision for mutual fulfillment. So this is the process to come out of those assumptions, to reevaluate those assumptions. So this is what we are trying to do in exercise one and exercise two. Is it okay, Didi, or some things you want to add? Uh, Ji, uh, it is okay. And uh, now where I'm getting stuck is I am uh, becoming aware of the sanskar, but still the shift is not occurring. Means I am not able to see what is right. Yes. So you are aware of your sanskar. This is good. Now you observe your sanskar without giving reaction to it. And this is what we learn in this exercise one. So we have to be aware for both parts. For my sanskar. And we have to be aware that I can be in a state of pure observer. And at that state, from that state, I can see my sanskar again without getting affected from it. This we have to be aware. Right, Didi? Ji, ji, bhaiya, this will be helpful. Thank you so much. Right. So we can you know, do this homework, this assignment all the time. We have to observe our expression. The way we speak, lengthy sentence, short expression, gesture, the face expression. Note whether you are happy or unhappy within while expressing. Note how you react or respond to any situation. You know? Behavior with other, any event outside, any event inside, any feeling. So we have to observe ourselves all the time. When I associate meaning, how my sanskars are working, when I am in a reaction state, when I am in a response state, this we have to be aware. So with awareness, all these things will be resolved gradually. So what we have to do, we have to be aware. What will happen? Sanskar will be evaluated naturally if I start observing. But what we do, we start reacting. That's why we find ourselves in that state. We are not able to cross our sanskar because we usually start reacting on this. So we are not supposed to react. We are supposed to observe. Just observe carefully each time. Rest things will happen by itself. So what we are expected, we are expected to observe only. Rest things will happen with time, gradually. Okay, so we can stop here.